Hey, what's up, Dean? Here, performance. Back at the shop, and we've got a nice Nova. It's like a '68 or '69. I think it's a '68 with the grills past the headlight. I'm not 100% sure. Not really good with the years. I know it's a Nova, um, but. He brought it in, he got it rewired. There's a couple little things that need to be taken care of. Um, basically, like the ground is not connected, so it's actually like grounding off of the headlight itself, and the, like the bumper light is is grounding, but I it's losing a ground. So you got the same thing on this side. Um, they used a painless harness, which is really really nice harness. Um, front to back I checked the back it's got ground uh, he did put in a, an aluminum radiator with an electric fan uh, he put the relay with the fuse in line um, which we could probably shorten this up a little bit because he's coming off of battery for his switched and his uh, battery power uh, he just needs to put in the thermostat switch in the intake somewhere to get coolant temp to trigger it on and off. It's got a little small block Chevy, single plane intake. I don't know the brand on the intake. There's no brand on it. So I would assume it's like a Speedmaster or something. Uh, it's got a Demon. Again, I don't know what size it is because, well, there's no marking on it. <laughs> I would have thought there would have been a part number unless it's on the back somewhere. I don't see it. Um, so I'm not sure what size Demon Carb it is. Uh, electric choke, all that good stuff. Uh, power steering. Line needs to be cleaned up a little. Uh, but it doesn't know a lot of details about the motor. Uh, it's obviously it's not a fancy head. It's got like the little triangle right there. Um, I don't remember the casting numbers. I don't know the casting numbers actually. Um, the block, I would say, is too filthy to see it. Uh, be right down in there. Yeah. I'm not sure. Can't quite see it. So I'd imagine it's a 350. Um, doesn't look like it's ever been apart by the head bolts. Um, so I think it's just a 350, like a 70s to 90s, I think, era 350. But it has got a cam in it. Um, might be a little bit too big of a cam, but we might be able to work around it. We can see it's got a turbo 350. I already identified that. They ran the vacuum uh port from the transmission they had it originally up on the front and they had no vacuum advance on it and that's one issue he's saying um is that when you put it in gear it stalls out it like just drops the rpms and stalls out so i went ahead and basically this is his rubber line that was on this metal line i just popped it off stuffed it on the vacuum advance and then put a new line up to the ported vacuum on the back of the demon where the transmission should be um i'm just kind of going through i'm making a list I, I obviously i start doing little things i tightened up the lower radiator hose you can see some water down there um so i tightened up the lower radiator hose then tightened up the upper because both clamps were a little bit loose uh the lower on the water pump was a little bit loose so i went ahead and tightened all that that's kind of the worst thing if the system builds a bunch of pressure and you shoot a hose off. It's something very preventable. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. I can't read like all the wire. Uh, descriptions, I can't read them. So I, I don't know what a bunch of things are because I can't read them um, 
he had mentioned when he pulls the headlight switch on, the park lights will stay on or not come on. So I think that's the ground issue. I think it's just hitting and missing on the ground. He mentioned possibly it doesn't turn low beam on. I haven't been able to duplicate that and that could be again the ground issue because that, that ground is for the headlights. I checked the dimmer switch. If you turn the key on, oh, I took the key out of course. But if you turn the key on, on the dashboard, they actually hooked up the high beam indicator. So when you click the dimmer switch, the high beam indicator shows. When you click it again, it shuts off. I did find, um, obviously, like the heater box and stuff. I'm going to talk to him about taking it out and building the panel. Because, I, you know, this is a car that you would want AC in to be able to drive in the summer. Um, and you're not going to get AC with that. And the heater core is actually cut off at the firewall so it's basically just blowing hot engine air through the heater box i'll show you in a second but i also found the brake switch is not hooked up so he has no brake lights um i'll have to look and make sure it's it's contacting the pedal but i gotta make sure it's, it's it doesn't feel like it's actually turning the switch on and off so that might need to be adjusted but i gotta find the wires for it find the plug for it um i already shut the trunk interior is pretty you know just plain bench seat which is cool like bench seats um he's got all the panels i think he has all the panels and stuff i i just think he hasn't gone through and put them on yet um so i shut the trunk the trunk's pretty clean uh overall so far i mean the door shuts like you don't get cars old cars that the door shut that good uh the cowl tag's been removed you can see the rivet and the rivet and then you can see the impression from it so the cowl tag's been removed for some reason don't know why um so it doesn't identify anything half the bolts are missing out of the fenders you got one up here that's actually broke that one's actually broke you got that bolt there missing that bolt there missing you got one in the inner fender missing another one on the inner fender missing and those take these clips another one here missing small little things the little rubber bumpers are missing um, doesn't have a horn the horn wires there I'll check that and see if it works too uh, let me see no battery hold down so I, i'll probably throw a battery hold down on it for them um i mean minor little things probably probably needs all the panels aligned because somebody kind of did a paint job on the car i don't don't know yeah so looks like it's had quarter panels you can see right here where there's a bunch of grind marks under the primer like all the way deep down so it may have had quarter panels put on lower quarters not full quarters i don't think doesn't look like it's had full quarters put on um i did notice when i opened the trunk there's two bolts missing and the hinges are just completely loose so I'm gonna have to remember that, either put them in and tighten them, or I just gotta pay really close attention to when I shut it that it's not all cattywampus and go and smack it down. But it's a very cool car. I'm gonna actually shove it forward, get the horse out of the way. Um, I'm gonna push it forward, get it up on the lift. It's got nice rally wheels, I like those. They're a good look. A little bit thicker in the back, a little skinny in the front, perfect. So I'm gonna throw it up on the lift, take a look at everything. All right, so I got the most of the tie strap off, and then I noticed this. That looks to be like really bad arc weld. Um, front's good, not the back. So he's got the Dakota Digital adapter oh the, look at how far in the drive shaft is 
so that is definitely an issue um oh no sorry it's not hooked up not an issue might be out too far though but that is definitely an issue um uh, so i'm not sure where to go with that one some more booger welds for the turn downs which don't really it's not really that much of a concern for me got more fill a gap weld on there because it's in the crease of the bend it's like in here instead of out here I mean which all they had to do was shorten this piece make this piece a little longer no big deal it is what it is and then you've got this piece shoved in a piece shoved in the collector again take that piece out cut the collector straight weld this piece to it another one tube welded to a tube welded to a tube welded to a tube welded to the collector okay but but other than one spot I see right there so I don't know why somebody would have cut that like that unless they were trying to cut something and they missed <laughs> Seems like they were trying to cut something and missed, maybe. Um, the floors are... Oh, it's got a patch. Okay. But, floors are solid in this car. All the leaf spring mounts, super solid. The frame rail, super solid. Trunk floor is solid. This is definitely... A car worth doing the right things to you got a little bit here it's typical because that's where all the crap gets thrown up not on this side though so that tells me they patched it right there you can see it no big deal at least it's patched um, and doesn't look horrible everything looks pretty good you got a couple of holes up there no big deal it's got four-wheel disc brakes I thought he I knew he said the front but I didn't know he he has actually four-wheel disc brakes so that's good they ran all new brake lines I don't yeah that one's got a little leak you can see it right there but we might might be able to get away with tightening that fitting a little bit I don't see any other leaks it's good so we come all the way up and instead of just running this all the way they did a compression fitting you cannot do compression fittings on brake lines that is bad um, I mean you only had to go a few more feet you know it goes up and goes right there to the proportioning valve the shift linkage you can see is falling out. Uh, it's adjusted all the way there. So there's something. Oh, it's bent. Okay, they cut it and welded it right there. You can see right there that big blob. They cut the shift rod and then re welded it back together. And I have no idea how. They held it in. I think they just stuffed the pin in it. Um, so that needs to be addressed. Uh, he's got the right frame mounts, right motor mounts. That's good. Chrome oil pan, score, bone stock converter, definitely. And that is, might be part of the issue. Uh, I would say it's definitely part of the issue. This thing's got a cam in it, it's got good ball joints. So overall, happy with what I see. Radiator support. Oh. I mean, that's the simplest thing, get a shorter bolt, but they put a nut as a spacer. Did not do that on this side. There's not even the rubber mount for this side underneath. Goofy things, just goofy things like that. And that is bailing wire is not 
Oh, wait, let me come back out to real life. Bailing wire is not the way to do a fender support. Um, but you duplicated it, so that's good. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. The See, you have a ground and a sig um, power. Dude, this bucket, which is all metal, and then this bucket touches the bumper. So that, I believe, that's where we're getting the wacky park lights stay on and don't turn on and all that stuff. Um, there's no rubber mounts under the radiator, so I'll have to address that that it's got newer shocks all the way around e-brake cable obviously is null and void by the old snip of the wire um take them out don't cut them somebody may need it uh it may not work but somebody may need it and then what is what is this where are you going up there uh-huh uh-huh what the oh this is what this is a secondary e-brake cable like that somebody put in what the actual yeah uh-huh okay yeah okay so that was stuff behind the motor uh-oh and if you look, very close, that bell housing bolt is not in all the way. See, yep, there it is. Where are you? There you are. Not in all the way. So maybe it's too long. What do we got? Uh, these ones appear to be in all the way. I can't see nothing. Um, there's a uh, yeah, and then there's one at the dipstick that is partially in. I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Come on now. I don't know how to make the air goes. So let's see if we can get up in there. can't really see it. No, you can't see it from here. It's hard to see. But kind of right there, you can see a little bit of the thread sticking out. It's not in all the way. And all right, I'm going to use the phone to go up in there and see if this one's even got one. Uh, somehow. Yep, that one's got one. Looks like it's in all the way. That's good. Uh, there's those block numbers again. Still can't see them. So, Wix filter. Yes. Little transmission drip. Off the fitting up there. You can see it right there. Right there, you can see it. Little drip off of that one. Maybe be able to tighten that up. I hope so. Um, overall, though, it's not terrible. Um, dented oil uh, transmission pan. You don't want to dent your transmission pans because it smashes it against the filter. And it can starve it for fluid. Um, so that's a bad thing. It's definitely got... Uh, I think the tail housing is leaking or... Oh, excuse me. Or oh, the rear seal. It's probably the rear seal. Which could just be a rusted uh, yoke. So, yeah. I'm going to finish writing everything up on the Nova and give him an update. And this is the fuel line. Another compression to, I think, the old line. That what the f okay yeah don't put your fuel line at the leaf spring Shit. okay another filter back here 
That looks pretty old. So I'm going to give him the update and we'll go from there. So that's it for this video. Uh, till I figure out what we're going to do, how he wants to do it. Appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Have a good day.